Be prepared for offensive language. Tonight, housemates get reflective. All I can say about Courtney is tone it down and be a lady. To my Amanda, I'm so privileged to have met someone like you. You believed in me so much. We'll all be at it, isn't it? <laughs> yes. I'm full up on love now. I don't need to eat. And the debate hits a nerve with Jess. Would you judge a woman who had sex on TV? Oh, dear. It wouldn't be my choice. I would never do it. I think it's sad that that's what they got to do, quite honestly. I'll tell you this. When I was on MTV, yeah. I did have sex on TV. Right. And when I heard what people thought, and especially like my idol, Amanda, the way she felt about it, I was broken. Today is the second day of the girl power task and the last day for three of the housemates. of women continues with a champagne breakfast in the kitchen. Ah. You are all invited to this event, which will honour the women and men of the Big Brother house. <laughs> Big Brother, if you think that pop music and alcohol is any way to start the day, you're nuts. And a final week wouldn't be a final week without a love-in over breakfast. Wayne. <laughs> Let me begin by saying that I think I speak on behalf of everyone when I say that this house would have been a completely different experience without your tappy feet, <laughs> your energy, your enthusiasm, your positivity. You are a truly beautiful soul with a very big heart. I think you are a wonderful, wonderful human being. Thank you very much. To Wayne. To Wayne. My to Hugh Wayne. Hefner. <laughs> Ashley, though it's early in the morning, my words flow very easily to give you praise. You have a very sensitive heart. Your stories are second to none. They're very long, <laughs> but I think that you can run for Prime Minister. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of love, Wayne. Thank you, Wayne. Right. To Ashley. 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 I think that you're an incredible man. Your wife and your children, they're lucky to have you. Thank you. Um, you stand for a lot of things, not just your own, but also the women in your life, and you do believe that all of us deserve to have the best that is for us. And for that, cheers to you. Cheers. 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 My toast to you begins from your very foundation in life, your family, and more specifically, your mama raised what I see to be a beautiful, powerful, strong lady. I know you don't need a man to be you, the very much you know who you are, and solidly you will continue that in life. But when you do get a man, I hope he blesses you with the most glorious family of your own. It's Malika. 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 It's don't not, try too hard. It's not easy to toast Anne because she is such a formidable character with such strength and I know that she doesn't like slushing. No, and no slush. I think that she is a fearless woman. I do think that for so many women out there and so many young people, you are a great example of someone who is good at what they do and who does it and who gets ahead. To Anne. To right. Anne. Well. Uh, I'd like to toast Shane Jay because he's kind, he's fun, he made me up, and I actually didn't wash it off, so <laughs> it must have been okay. Uh, and he borrows my mending kit and doesn't return it. 
Yes. And yet. <laughs> All I can say about Courtney is tidy up, tone it down, and be a lady. But I do so vastly prefer him as just nice, kind, fun Shane Jay. So, Shane Jay. Shane Jay. When I wake up, will you tell me what I said? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Everybody loves you. You have a very, very special quality. And I, for one, would say you brought us all great joy. Enormous sponge-like ability to learn and ask questions, even if they're not the right ones sometimes, but never mind. <laughs> Hold on to that little magic quality you've got. Don't let anybody influence and spoil it in any way. I know these two say prayers are the thing, but I would say that for you, that you have a very safe journey forward. I love you. Thank you very much. <laughs> to Jess. Yes, yes. To my Amanda, you have been everything I want to be when I'm your age. You've lived the life I've dreamed of living. You help people from your heart. You took me in straight away and you made me feel safe from anything and you are my absolute idol. <laughs> and I'm so, so privileged to have met someone like you who believed in me so much. And I think you're amazing. To Amanda. To Amanda. <laughs> to Amanda. To Amanda. Yes. Amanda. With all the asses. <laughs> <Don't. laughs> I'm full up on love now. I don't need oh, to eat. <laughs> Coming up, Jess breaks down. I was just a bit by the people's comments, I was a bit like, oh, is that what people will think of me? Malika wants the lowdown on Wayne's relationship with his husband. Where did you and Jose meet? I had an apartment in the south of Spain. Mm -hmm. I bought it off. Boom. Sean Connery. <laughs> I was over there in October, and I was. Somebody said to me one evening, would you like to go to a bohemian bar? Well, I thought there isn't anything bohemian about this place. You know, it was just a little town. You know, they said, oh, but there's a nice place up here. And I thought, oh, well, let's have a look. Anyway, there I am in the bar and I'm drunk and I'm throwing darts under my legs when I could, you know, lift them and threw my legs and still hit in the dartboard, showing off as usual. I sort of saw this good-looking boy behind the bar, but I was with these elder couples, so I didn't take much... I wasn't there to score, you know. But so, they did. Well, the next day, I was sitting at the seashore, and suddenly this guy comes in, sits next to me and goes, Hola. <laughs> he pursued me. Hey! And I was in my 40s, and I thought, no, I don't want this. And I thought, oh, God, I'm not... I'm, I'm, he didn't speak a word of English, I didn't speak a word of Spanish. He phoned me and had the English-Spanish dictionary and the page was very thin, so he hit tracing paper, like... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne, how are you? <laughs> and he whistled as well. <laughs> I'll never forget that. And that's, that's really what did it. I think that's what did it. Housemates are falling over themselves to start their next task hit. Oh, a Big Brother panel show hosted by Anne Whittaker. Welcome to Year of Woman, with myself, Anne Whittacombe, and my fellow Big Brother housemates. Mm -hmm. Hi there. Hi. <laughs> Let's kick off with the first topic. Is the gender pay gap ever mm. justified? 
Well, I'll kick off since I no longer have to be impartial. <laughs> what we do now is we try to work on comparability. And I think a very good example, actually, is Wimbledon, where women pay three matches, the men play five. Yes. Mm -hmm. And now the women, as a result of an awful lot of uproar, get paid exactly the same as the men mm -hmm. for doing, actually, two games less. Mm -hmm. Now, when they were arguing that that should be the case, they argued on the basis of the gender pay gap. Actually, in the tennis game, the men do a tremendous, tremendous amount of aces serves and things because they are stronger than women. But actually, the oh. women's game is so many more strokes in it because of the thing. <laughs> And, you know, the way they play. So. Malika, I think I heard a, a slight squeak of disagreement. Yeah, I, just, I, just, I just disagree with saying that men are stronger than women. Oh. I would beg to differ that Serena's stronger than a lot of the men well, that she's play in her match. She's a real individual cookie. So is Venus. Yeah. There is no doubt at all that there might be one or two women who are stronger than the average mm. man. But by and large, the reason you protect women and say, you know, that you have to take care of them is because men are stronger and the average man can overpower the average woman. A little comment, not especially on that, but yeah. um, I don't like the system, really, that it shouldn't be equal pay if it's the same job. job. Yeah. Yeah. And I think if you want to give one or the other more, it should depend on their output. On reason. And yeah. how yeah. much they've worked, and if their output is better than yours, then give them the And the bonus. length of time they may have been doing yeah. it. I'm yeah. totally with Wayne on that, absolutely. I am an employer in many different businesses, and if you want to look at hourly rates, if you're doing the same hours, you get the same pay. Equality for sure, but if you're working hard, you get more. Yes. You recognise talent, you recognise input. I yep. recognise hard work. Yep. And the next topic is, do reality TV stars set a good example to young women? Oh, Malika. Do I set a good example for young women? Well, you're a reality TV star, aren't you? Yes, I am. But the question wasn't about me. No, I can't but speak I, I to what everybody... You might have an opinion. Yeah, well, I think, I'm a, I think I'm a good example of a young woman. Reality is a part of life. And in a lot of cases, reality stars, even like myself, get a bad rap for sharing the real of our lives when a lot of other people just sit back at home and their lives are not exposed. But a lot of reality TV stars have made a lot of other people feel better about their own lives. Shaynel. Yeah, I think there are great examples out there for sure. And there are very bad examples out there. Geordie Shore, it's about getting drunk and sleeping with men, sleeping with women, and it's not, it's pretty disgraceful in that respect of, again, just being a human and what is a good example of a person. With some shows, and with your point of that, children or young people think to get into a reality show, that's the way to be a celebrity. I've been a part of a show similar to, no, it's not a Georgia show, but similar. And um, there is a certain pressure on young women to behave in certain ways. I ended up leaving a show because of this reason. So you actually left the show because you didn't approve of the message um, it was sending? I didn't believe it represented me. The next topic is... It happens like every time now. Is it unwo... Oh, goodness sake. Uh, <laughs> is it unwomanly to make a personal oh noise God. in front of people? It is something in my household, let me be absolutely brutally honest, that <laughs> me and my two little girls, um, we have a little thing where I will call silence and then, yes, I will break wind and they find it <laughs> the most hilarious thing ever. And, <laughs> and it's just a fun thing I do as a dad with my little girls. Well, would you do it in company? Absolutely what? not. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, in my house, for sure, we have, we have fun about it, but no, it's not the done thing in a group of people. Whether you're male or female. Whether you're male or female, yes. Well, I think it's um, sad if women break wind because I can't smell their perfume. <laughs> <laughs> right, could we bring the conversation back to a level that... Uh, might address what I regard as a ludicrous topic, seriously. Uh, I was going to ask you if you'd pull my finger, but I guess I won't. No, don't. And the next topic is, would you judge a woman who had sex on TV more harshly than a man? Oh, dear. Uh, well, my answer is I would judge both pretty harshly. 
Uh, but let's see, Shane Jay. Um, I think that society does judge men and women differently uh, with regards to sex. You know, a man who has multiple partners is a stud and a woman who has multiple partners is a slut. You might all roll your eyes when I say this, but would I have sex on television? <laughs> They didn't even get there and you rolled your eyes, Amanda. I was not rolling my oh. eyes, darling. I was looking at my glasses. Um, if I was in this environment and there was somebody who was attracted to me and I was attracted to them and we were in bed together, I, I mean, it depends on how you define sex, but I probably would find myself engaging in sexual conduct um, in here. You must be desperate, darling. <laughs> no, I'm not desperate. I'm just not approved or ashamed of my body or of the idea of sex. Hang on, everybody. The question is, given that this situation arises, mm. would we judge the woman doing it yeah. more harshly than we would judge the man? Jeff? I feel society does, because if you look at certain shows, the man, as Shane Jay just said, becomes the stud. The woman's, it's like, oh, you're just a slag, shut up. And that's the general gist. I get from seeing things on social media. I do think women get judged more harshly for it. That's, that's ah. what I have to contribute. Um, but you wouldn't personally... Would you personally judge a man or a woman not differently? differently? No. 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 I would not judge anyone who had sex on TV. It wouldn't be my choice. I would never do it. Mm -hmm. I believe sex is private and is something that I cherish with someone that, that I love. If I really, really wanted to have sex in this house, I probably would still consider my reputation and my parents watching and my grandma watching, yes. Amanda? Well, the fact that it's on TV um, means, again, that I would say I wouldn't judge one or the other because I would think both of them were probably trying to get extra camera time and probably auditioning publicly for an even racier reality show where that was involved and um, I think they would be using it for that purpose. Um, I think it's sad that that's what they've got to do, quite honestly, but I would always think anybody in a reality show who crawls into bed with another person, it's not because they are so passionately in love over those few weeks that they'd be, they're just looking out for the next reality show they can get into. I don't know if that was in any way related to my comments. To do what they want yeah. Them. Well, I think the feeling of the panel is there's a difference of views as to whether it matters whether you have sex on TV, a very strong difference of views, but that it having taken place, uh, you shouldn't judge one party more harshly than the other. Mm -hmm. Well, that's all that we've got time for. Thank you to the panel, and thank you to you for watching. Goodbye. Bye. With Big Brother's panel show in the can, Amanda has sex on the mind. I might just think of those questions. Hmm? Actually, the thing about the sex on TV thing, I can never think of it as anything except people trying to grab extra camera time right. in order to get another reality show. And then uh, I, can't, I can't think of any other reason. I just think of it as just complete moral anarchy. I mean. Moral anarchy. Yeah, moral anarchy. Sex well, on TV. I think it's sad. It's all say that. Mm. She and Jay and Ashley are also having a panel um, show post mortem. For me, it was just a good opportunity for everybody to like speak their opinions and to have a conversation that was in a formal sort of situation. Because, like, I've sat down with Anne and talked to her about m any number of topics, the environment, abortion, marriage equality, you know, the Catholic Church. She was like, do you ever talk about light-hearted things, Shane Jay? And I was like, mm. I'm glad Jess got to say her pieces. Yeah, me too. Well. I thought she did them really well as well. Yeah, she did. That debate was giving me headache Aww. bad. You did well. Yeah, you did really I really well, loved though. your words. You said your bit. Yeah. It's hard for me with the sex on TV stuff, because obviously I've been on MTV. Most of my friends have been on MTV. Well, not my friends, but people I, you know, know. And everyone that I know doesn't think to themselves, 
and myself think to, to about myself, oh, I know, I'm going to go and have sex to get on another show. And I'm like, none of the, most of them are, like, really upset about it. Yeah. Like, look at Vicky Patterson, how upset she was about it. And it's just because it was OK at the time. It, you're a different person, and I feel like it should be not made to make for you feel like you're a bad person. You, if yeah. people can forgive themselves, you need to let them do it. Yeah. That upset me a little bit. And also, you've got to remember, it's not in this kind of segment. The show's where it should happen. They live with their boyfriends, they yeah. live with their girlfriends, they live with that, and it's very different. I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong, they do I can see how in. it's easy to happen. Yeah, they don't... You know, it does happen where they just jump in bed hop and all that. Yeah. But for the people that have done it, and I'm speaking from myself, I'm talking to my friends, I'm talking about everyone that I know has done it, it's like... It, it was such a hard thing to have to process for anyone, and... It just made made me feel a bit like poo, but... <laughs>that changes. You think that may just be a passing mood, do you? Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's all right. My ass is enormous. I might think I can see it in this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, gosh, Anne. I think we just now sit and wait for the executioner. Yeah. Today's panel show is playing on Jess's mind. Do you think you got to say everything you felt during the debate? Regards to the question itself, yes, I felt like I did get to say everything I felt. Regards to other things that may have been brought up afterwards, I didn't... It wasn't part of the question, so it was not really even necessary for me to say anything. What are you referring to that happened after the debate? Oh, they're just talking about sex on TV and if... Um, and what people view people who have done that as and, you know, I... That wasn't part of the question, so I didn't feel it necessary for me to answer. The question was whether women or, f or men get more of a hard time for it. And I'd said women, because from my experience and my knowledge and what I see over social media, they do, and just the general idea of it. Malika's got a prediction about tonight's eviction. I'm starting to have a really good feeling about this. What? That you're leaving? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've normally been pretty right about who was going and who was staying. Am I going with you? No. Me and Shaynell are going. And... I was just a bit... By the people's comments, I was a bit like, oh, is that what people will think of me? And it just... hurt my feelings a bit but no it's not it was my own fault I I, I knew I was, I was going on a show with a boyfriend and all that and I swore to myself I wouldn't have done something like that but I just got I didn't want people to think my value was less and I know I shouldn't care about what people think but in here I suppose I've bonded with people and I didn't want anyone to think less of me because of something I thought personally that was a mistake to me to myself coming up the final five celebrate class of 2018 we made it Yay! you made it fun. How much I've enjoyed it, in a funny little way, at my age, to have been amongst this lot. What I hope to be remembered for is just being me in the Big Brother house, you know? No game playing, no nonsense, no strategies, just regular folk. 
if I were to win, that would be amazing and that would be down to the public, but equally I will celebrate just as much for Jess or for Anne or for Shane Jay as I would for myself. I've come to say goodbye. I shall probably be going out tonight, but I hope you've enjoyed our chats. Bye. If I'm remembered for anything in the Big Brother house, I would like it to be for being my own person and never ever uh, running away uh, from what I believed. Hoping for the worst, wishing for the best. I guess I really hope to be remembered for resembling strength and um, loyalty and also just standing up for other people and empowering them to stand up for themselves. Ah, oh, here comes Courtney. Let's see Courtney. Well, Sands oh, yeah. the hair. Yes, I approve of that, Courtney. Oh. If I go, I'm excited to see everybody and everyone and everything. And if I stay, I'm excited. I'm really glad that Jess, if I stay, I'm really glad to know that Jess is going to be here. We need to stick together now. <laughs> You're my voice of reason. <laughs> I have a feeling that I'm off. I really have. Do I've you? prepared myself completely, yeah. All right. But, but I'm not going to say anything, no, no, but you know but, what I feel. But I love you. and I and, love you too. And go, and if go. you go, I'll miss you for just even two days. I'll miss you. You miss me, darling. Oh. Oh. Here's all my There we go. Bless, Bless you. Celebrity Big Brother house. This is Ooh. Emma. What are they yelling? Amanda. Courtney. Anne. Ashley, Malika, Courtney, Shane L. Tonight is another triple eviction. Since yesterday, the viewers have been voting to save. The two housemates with the most votes and safe are Courtney, and Anne. Hang on. Did you get up this time, my love? Congrats. Hello. Um, the two well housemates with the fewest votes oh dear. and leaving the house together are. Oh. 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 Ashley. Oh. <laughs> Malika. Oh. Uh, at least we can live together. You get that one Amanda. Oh, good yeah. good Bye, baby. And Shayna. Oh. You are not yet safe. Oh, oh thanks. thanks for all that cooking and makeup. Of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Of course, of course. Hi, baby. I'll see you on the outside. Okay. Inside, okay. Lock it, because you're fucking amazing. Don't forget that. Oh, it's... So I'm going out now, my musketeer. Yeah. Ash, let's hit it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh, my God. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Bye. See you Friday. Love, Love you guys. guys. Yes. Aww. That's cute that they're going together, though. Good luck, girls. Enjoy every minute. Bye. Bye. Oh, yeah. My winner. My winner. My winner. My winner. My winner. You know now. I'm on the betty shop. Good luck, guys. Don't want to lose either of you. Oh well, darling, you've got way to for you, you, wasn't it? Well, no, I just, I'll be going in a minute, but uh, at least. Yeah. <laughs> but you, you know. Good luck, guys. Corey versus boys, then. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Can't do that, darling. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, my God, you're in the back. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's such an idiot. Yeah. It was weird when they Did said my name, because I was like, is it appropriate to be excited <laughs> right now? Because I'm relieved. Well done, Cal. Thank you. Here we go. Celebrity Big Brother Good House. You, this is Emma. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Amanda. Yes. Shane Al. I can now reveal the person with the next fewest votes and third to leave the house tonight is. Amanda. Oh. Good night. Oh. 
I'm gone. 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 I'm
Congratulations. Yay! Yay! Obliged. You are all Celebrity Big Brother finalists. Woo! How does that feel? Crazy. Wonderful. Has it even sunk in? Don't be a drag, just be a drag, don't be No medication or violence, being a transgender life. You're on the right track, baby, I was born to survive. Why do you think you five have made the final? I think everybody in this room our particular strong characters and we've neither swayed from who we are and that's why I believe we're here in the final. Would you like to win then? Oh look, we'd all like to win. I think I've won anyway in my head because I've lasted more than four days. I don't think that a man should win Woman of the Year. Why and not? True equality. It means yeah. that women and men compete on equal terms. Hey, I was born as well. Hey, I'm on the right, right track, track, baby. I was born as well. Hey. Oh, get me up. Oh, get me up. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I forgot I've got a false hip. <laughs> <laughs> Jess has a confession to make to Shane L. I'll tell you this. In when I was on MTV, yeah. I did have sex on TV. Right. So it wasn't properly. It was. It looked very much like I was, but it stopped very quickly when I when I was pissed as a fart, and it went to happen. And then I went, oh my god, I'm so disappointed in myself when it stopped. So I didn't think that it was something I ever wanted to bring up in here. Yeah. So when I saw it on the telly, right. my heart raced just... and I started saying, I got really upset because oh, I thought I'm okay. going to be penalised here. But I waited to hear what everyone was going to say and when I heard what people thought, and especially like my idol, Amanda, the way she felt about it, I was broken. So it's not one of the things like glam modelling when I say, oh, I don't care, I actually enjoyed it, it's my body. That I regretted the minute it happened. Right. That, that was a big thing for me that, and that hurts me a lot when I think about it. Well, I think something like that in the greatest respect, um, some people find themselves in a circumstance beyond yeah. their own control. Yeah. So if you want to really look back on this time in the house, there's certain things in here that I actually wouldn't do. Yeah. But then you have to look at yourself and go, well, I'm part of the show I'm going to do. It's the same kind of thing you find yourself mm. in. You're on a thing TV is, show, you're on like... TV, and you're with a geezer, and you're in there, and, then, and all of a sudden, it's you just... just I just and forgot as well. It was her in... boyfriend and previously. It was... And that as well. And it wasn't so... like... I was, it, you, it was my first ever time doing any sort of television like that. And I, I swear to God, I just forgot I was on mm. the telly. And Amanda said it as if, like, I'm doing it for more work. Actually, after that, I didn't want to do it again because I, was, I didn't want to get more work in it because I was so yeah. upset about that. And if I could take anything back as a regret, that would be one of them. But at the same time, I can't change it. That happened, end of story, move on. I've got mm. no other option but to do that. Otherwise, one little tiny little mistake yeah, that I made. Absolutely. From, in my whole life, I've made many, but that one sticks out. One little mistake that I've made will dictate my whole future life, and I'll never feel good enough. I'll never feel good enough for anything. And that's how I was for a long time. I felt never good enough because of that. And actually, I'm good enough. You are. <laughs> Wynne is giving Courtney some advice. I think this last three days should be fun and fun. Here, here. And don't get too serious. I won't. Don't think that I'll get serious. Have I been serious the last 24 hours? Years? <laughs> yes. I mean, during that thing today, but that was serious. The, the, the no, no, it is always serious. No, no, I'm picking up on your serious trait. And I think it should all be said. And I think everything you said. stand for is what I approve of. But don't victimise. No, such and I don't think I have situation. in the last hour, 24 hours. <laughs> okay. But Wayne, think about this. At no point during my time in the house have I, I ever you. wanted to take Anne down. Anne disapproving of how I choose to dress in drag. Mm. Whether anybody thinks it's appropriate or not, what I hear and what I know is that there is a woman 
who is someone's grandmother, who is someone's mother, saying, you're not good enough. Oh, That's, I can't see that. That all. is, no, that, to me, that is the message. She's not powerful enough to do that. You don't think she is, but that's because you and I are self-assured people. Yes. Imagine if you're some 15-year-old boy. Yes. Living in... And they heard that statement. And they, they heard Anne. And they wouldn't be able to get into drag. And they heard again. Anne. Don't even drag. It's not Let's about just say you. some young gay boy. That works for both of us. Yes, exactly. Some young gay boy who's... 14 years old, yes. who hasn't told anybody that he likes boys and who thinks there's something. And then he sees Anne talking to me. I never even me. told the boy I liked him. You didn't even tell your mother exactly. face to face. Yes, exactly. Never, never, never. But, but think about that mm. and think about the message that that sends out. Mm. Anne has come to the daily room to speak to Big Brother. How does it feel to be a finalist? Well, I think it's, um, it's rather surprising. I mean, when I consider uh, that I'm a pensioner and the defender of the unborn and traditional marriage and the Roman Catholic Church, all of which are unfashionable views, uh, and that I am the scourge of political correctness and general snowflakery and emotional incontinence, I think it's rather surprising that I'm still here. I'm sure nobody was expecting me uh, to get to the final. Uh, and I think uh, everybody thinks I'm a miserable old bat and they're probably extremely surprised. I was very disappointed to lose Amanda tonight. Um, it came down to her and Shane Lynch and I thought, well, either I lose my prayer partner or I lose my entertainment. Uh, the public determines who stays and who goes. Uh, and I'm very used to uh, relying on a public vote. And anybody who wins that vote, as Shane Jay did tonight, is entitled uh, to be where he is. This week, Anne, Jess, she and J or Courtney, she and L and Wayne all face the public vote. Who wins? You decide. From a landline call 090 204424 and add the number of the housemate you want to win. From a mobile call 64424 and add the number of the housemate you want to win. For Anne, add or three. For Jess, add or eight. For Shane J or Courtney, add 14. For Shane L, add 15. For Wayne, add 16. Calls to the long number will cost 50p plus your network access charge. Calls to the short number will cost 50p. Voting closes in Friday's final. Votes cast after lines close won't count. Please don't try to vote if you're watching on Catch Up or outside the UK. You can find terms on the Big Brother website. Next on Channel 5, Spain's reputation for sun, sea and serious crime. It's the tale of a millionaire's holiday and the ex who was waiting at the villa. Murder in Paradise, brand new in just a moment.